one of the arguments made by conservatives in particular is that Chevron is pernicious because it prevents legislation from passing because agencies decide they don't need new legislation or anything. They can use existing powers. And when this one of the is, just- by the way, it's like when yeah. you hear Gary Gensler say, or even Jay Clayton, like all tokens are securities. I've never seen a token that's not a security. That's effectively what they're saying. Yeah. Like we already have the laws. Well, yeah, he Correct. he would explicitly say that. Gary Gensler says we we don't need any new laws for crypto asset securities. We have the the Orange Grove Howey test from 1932. He said that <laughs> yeah. many many times. And this is what happens, right? Justice Sonia Sotomayor is talking with the plaintiff's lawyer, Paul Clement, great lawyer. I think he was former Solicitor General, which is like the top appellate lawyer in the government, and asking him, you know, you're talking about gridlock from Chevron. What do you mean? And he said, you know, no. What I'm saying, I'm quoting now is Chevron is a big factor in contributing to gridlock. And let me give you a concrete example. I would think that the uniquely 21st century phenomenon of cryptocurrency would have been addressed by Congress. And I certainly would have thought that that would have been true in the wake of the FTX debacle. But it hasn't happened. Why hasn't it happened? Because there's an agency head out there that thinks that he already has the authority to address this uniquely 21st century problem with a couple of statutes passed in the 1930s. And he's going to wave his wand. He's going to say the words investment contract are ambiguous. And that's going to suck all of this into my regulatory ambit, even though the same person, when he was a professor, said this is probably a job for the CFTC. <laughs> oh, my God. So crypto was part of the argument here. Yeah. So cryptocurrency was discussed in the Supreme Court and the case of uh, Chair Gensler being sort it of arbitrary and capricious. I mean, yeah. there's only one press person who's previously been a chair of the CFTC in the Biden admin and also is a professor at MIT. Wow. Yeah. To continue leveling up your crypto game, then you need to get on the Bankless newsletter. It's the world's most popular crypto email and it's completely free. Just click below to sign up.